every animal is your companion, someone you can learn from. Any animal, a pet, a uh, wild animal, an uh, insect, uh, does not matter. Insects, I'm saying insects because they keep telling you first, say, let's see, hmm, like insect, like uh, mosquitoes, if they bite you in a certain spot, it's trying to tell you something about that space. Like you need to be more active in that space or you need to pay attention to this space. Uh, roaches, I mean, your house may be dirty or you need to make a change or stuff like that. Dogs, the panting that they do when they just catching the breath. Everything is the breath. Quick, they teaching you about the breath. You watch a dog walk, the way they move they they spine, or a snake, the way they move their spine is how you're supposed to walk. It's just like everything is in sync. Left, right, left, right. You know, <laughs> uh, the lion, you feel me, like like the cats, uh, even feline, they just relax, they calm, they pinch into their surroundings, they in control, they they know what's going to happen because they just like watching, they, they, they calm. Um, to see what they do with their tongue, it's, so like that, you know, it's cleaning their teeth, you ever, getting stuff out their teeth, getting the roughness off your tongue, getting the food off your tongue, you can also, you know, do that to clean the tongue, scratching the teeth, scratching your tongue with your teeth, the tongue is rough for a reason, um, what else, uh, deers, like the wild animals, they, they're also calm and relaxed. They're sensitive to their surroundings. They're in tune with the nature. They're sensitive. Whenever you walk clear, you see them look up. They're not scared of you, but they're very cautious. Uh, just teaching you how to be cautious and in tune. You calm. You touching the surroundings. You playing with the surroundings. You you just being there. Uh, just living. The monkey, you know, it, it's curious, it's playful, it's exciting, it's strong. They they stay in certain they position certain body parts on purpose to keep their muscles strong and tight. They are curious. They try anything. They try keep trying stuff until they get the right uh, result. I seen a video of a monkey that was trapped in a cage, and he had like a a, um, a, a cover or, or, or whatever you want to call it on the ground where he was laying it. He picked it up and uh, tied it to the cage, and he made his own hammock. This is the problem solvers. This is what they do. They this is why in most animal movies you see the monkey with. It's like the second companion. He's like the best friend. Because the monkey smart. He, he curious. He know when it's time to do some problem solving. I think it was Zookeeper I was watching. And the monkey was the companion for the lion. Or Lion King. It's the same thing. They there. They, they wise. They got um, nature intact. Nature. Their natural sense is telling them do this. Try this. That's why people say they're closest to human. You know. But animals, you gotta pay attention to them. They're there to help you. Oh, also, I think in the Bible, you know how they said God gave Adam Eve as a companion. I also thought, think that He didn't only mean Eve because before He said Eve, He gave Adam the animals, and the Adam Adams gave him the animals in the. Uh, in the garden with him. They was his companions for a reason. They'd be his friends, to teach him stuff, to help him how to teach him how to live. Animals is here for a reason. Please do not ignore them. No matter what type of animal it is, any animal can teach you anything that they know about. It's up to you to watch and copy or notice what they're trying to teach you. Love the animal. They are your Spirit guides. I'm just saying. <laughs>